Hello, my name is Richard In, I'm the Executive Director of Korean American Civic Empowerment. It's the day of the uh, solar eclipse, the great American solar eclipse. It's going to pass over uh, parts of the United States, crosses over New York, and crosses into Canada. Um, we're very excited. We're over here at Murray Hill, Barton Avenue, Open Streets, um, an area that we do a lot of uh, you know, voter registration drives and engage the community. So today we're out here uh, enjoying the fresh air, beautiful weather, and clear, uh, well, mostly clear skies uh, to enjoy the eclipse today. But, you know, when it comes to an eclipse, you got to make sure that you have proper eye safety and protection. I know I put out a fun PSA out there, but, you know, safety, that's nothing to laugh about. Make sure that you, your eyes are safe when you're looking at a solar eclipse. Make sure you have proper eye protection. Uh, and there are also alternative ways where you can look indirectly, like creating pinholes uh, with, you know, simple cardboard and, and a hole. And just you can look at the floor or, or other alternative methods. But number one, be safe. And number two, let's have some fun. All right, so over here, we have my little cell phone over here. And just like our human eyes, these ca our phone camera lenses are also sensitive to the light. So over here, you can see a little filter over here that I'm using to protect the lens so that I can take pictures and videos of the solar eclipse without damaging my phone, right? And also for my eyes, I have these uh, glasses, not an endorsement of any product, but proper eye safety is important. So make sure if you have one of these, make sure that they meet the international standard of ISO 12312-2. Make sure that all the manufacturing is correct and it's from reputable uh, retailers. Uh, the list is on, on uh, the affiliates' websites. So I'll show you how you put these on. Make sure there, there are no holes or scratches. You don't want any damages on that because then it might damage your eyes, right? So you want to put them on like this. It's normal that you don't see anything out there. And um, you want to hold them here, you know, hold them tight on, onto the sides so that they don't fall off your face when you're looking. Now, once it's uh, fully secure, you can look up and you can kind of see the sun. So I'm looking at it right now. There's a little bit of cloud coverage, uh, which is actually helping it be not as intense. So right now it looks like a yellow circle in the sky. Uh, it's very, very cool. And so when the eclipse comes over, I should be able to see it. Um, even with the proper eye protection, Make sure that you take breaks. Uh, you, you know, these things aren't, you know, they're, they're not going you know, to last forever. Uh, and the more you use them, I'm, I'm guessing uh, it, the, the shielding kind of degrades uh, the more that's being used. So enjoy the solar eclipse. stories about the eclipse is uh, so there's this myth about this ancient battle uh, between two warring uh, countries I forgot the exact name but I think it happened somewhere in Turkey or somewhere somewhere like that and uh, in the middle of the battle the, the the sky all of a sudden turned dark and you know people theorizing that's probably what a solar eclipse was and so this got the armies to stop fighting put down arms and negotiate a peace treaty 
Um, and I think that's really cool in, in the sense of, you know, whether or not that story is true or not. It talks about the shared human experiences that we all have. And with, you know, we share the same sky, the same st stars, the same sun, the same moon. We share so many things and we have so many things in common. So I think it's a, it's a great reminder of us as human beings uh, with empathy and compassion to find the things that we have in common to work together for solutions uh, so that we can all peacefully li live together and lift one another up. Mm -hmm.